time, it wasn't called high achieving. It was called overachieving. And that term isn't always the kindest term. I remember back when I, um, my son was in elementary school and I was part of the PTA. Any other former PTA moms here in the crowd? So they would have bake sales. And the moms were all expected to bring baked goodies. Well, baking goodies isn't necessarily my greatest gift. So instead of baking goodies, I'd go to hy -Vee And I'd buy the cookies. Then I would take it home and I'd put it in my own dish. And I would show up with, with assortment of cookies. And I was pretty proud of myself because I was pretty sure nobody knew that I didn't make them, right? right. There's a, Always a couple of moms, though, that their gift was making beautiful cupcakes and cookies. And this one time, this lady came in, and she had the most beautiful cupcakes, decorated in the school colors, with like matching little sprinkles. They were gorgeous. I couldn't have made these things if I had tried. She walks in with this big box, and one of my friends leans over to me and says, ha, overachiever. Because that's, kind of, that's kind of the thought of when you say overachiever, it's not always a good thing. So I want to be over the over. I want to be done putting people who are highly successful into that bucket. I should have said at that point in time, hey, that's super cool. You have a gift that I don't have, and I am, I'm impressed that you were able to do that. That's different than, under my breath, overachiever. 